how did I end up here? Well, it's a long story, but for now, I'll just say I'm Brian, and this is my film. But wait, let's back up a bit. Before Food Lies even began, I didn't just wake up, quit my well-paying engineering job, and decide to make a food documentary. You see, eight years ago, I got the two worst phone calls of my life. First, my mom told me that she'd been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, which, just a reminder, has no known cure. So just like that, my world shattered. Then a few months later, my dad calls. Turns out he has stage two cancer. Once again, shards. I wish I could tell you they beat it, but like most, they didn't. Dad's gone and mom could go any day now. I went through all five stages of grief, but after that came a sixth emotion, fear. To avoid the same fate, I thought I need to live a healthier lifestyle. But then I realized my parents were basically poster children for conventional health advice. They didn't smoke or drink, they exercised, and got eight hours of sleep. And when it came to diet, they did exactly what Uncle Sam told them. Plenty of heart healthy whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies, low fat everything, and of course, they avoided red meat like the plague. Then I thought there must be more to it. So I dug deeper into healthy living. The doctors agreed on most things. Avoid tobacco and alcohol, get sleep and exercise. But then I looked into diet and holy crap. If you think politics is a minefield, nutrition is nuclear. None of the doctors or scientists could agree on anything. As soon as I found an article supporting one diet, I'd find another saying the exact opposite. Low fat, high fat, no meat, all meat, screw that, eat nothing but potatoes. How could the smartest species that's ever lived be so clueless about what to eat? Even bacteria can figure that out. So that's how it started, a six year long exhaustive journey. I interviewed over 200 nutritionists, biologists, archeologists, and every other ist you can imagine. I even started a top five nutrition podcast that's downloaded in over 145 countries. It sucked up every last minute and nickel I had, but it was worth it. Because here's what I figured out. The history of how we got here is insanely complicated, but the answers are pretty darn simple. Lifelong health isn't hidden inside a magic berry from the Amazon. It doesn't come from chugging apple cider vinegar or doing a $500 juice cleanse. You don't need mountains of money, tons of time, or rigid discipline. You just need to know the right information, the truth. And the truth is, they got it wrong. Not just a little wrong, but wrong wrong. Eating the right food is about more than just getting shiny new abs and fitting into your wedding dress. The right nutrition can save your life. We're spending trillions in healthcare treating chronic disease when the best medicine could be right on your plate. Unlike other documentaries you might've seen, I didn't make this because I had an agenda. I made it because I had questions. Like, how did we become a nation plagued by obesity and chronic illness? How do we figure out what to eat when the people in charge don't have a clue? We need to hit every side. The fossil records, anecdotes, genetics, clinical trials. We'll look back at the dawn of humanity and stop at every screw up, mistake, and milestone that led us here. And even though there's no one diet to rule them all, there's a framework that can guide anyone. There really is a way of eating that's healthy, sustainable, even ethical. And it's precisely the opposite of what you've been told. 